For today's video, we have to thank Lakeshore Learning for sponsoring the video because I'm gonna show you some great ways to learn your ABCs. All the activities in today's video are really great ideas for teaching your kids. And of course, I have a giveaway in this video you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are doing our ABCs. I have a few videos about ABCs in the past that you can check out. I'm gonna to put together a playlist down below in the description box or maybe up here in the corner somewhere so you can go check it out and get even more ideas. Today's video is sponsored by Lakeshore Learning, which is one of my favorite learning companies. They have such great resources. They are award-winning, high-quality educational products to inspire kids to learn through play. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet family, I would love it if you were to hit the subscribe button to join us, do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, do a little bit of hauls, shop with me, giveaways like in today's video. So make sure to say hi down below if you are new because I would love Love to hear from you. So let's get on to those ideas for learning our ABCs. I want to start off today by showing you Alphabots. We have Alphabots. You guys, these are so much fun. There are 26 Alphabots in here and the Alphabots are really cool because they're transforming. This one's for ages three and up. I need to open this up to show you how cute these are. I also wanna point out here on the back of the box too, you can get an idea of what they transform to. So you see the letter and what that letter transforms into. And it gives you a really good idea of what they can do. Here is our full set of our whole entire alphabet. So these are all capital letters. If you are learning your alphabet letters, letter recognition and you want a really fun hands-on way to do it this is for you especially if you have kids who like to do imaginative play and to do kind of the transforming toys as I pull all these out I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a coupon code and it's gonna be down below in my description box or I'll try to put it right here on the screen so if you wanted to go over to Lakeshore Learning's website and take a look at everything that they have you can just use the coupon code and get a little discount so that you can get something that you really really do like. I definitely think you guys will benefit from that. We actually have the set of the number bots which work very similar to the alpha bots except they're just numbers. Here is our letter A and then with a few twists and a few little adjustments here <laughs> we turn our letter A into an alpha bot. How cute is he? Each one of the letters does something a little bit different. And what's fun is trying to learn how they all work and operate. Oh, that's cute. His little head pops up, his little arms. As you're working with these little alphabots, your child starts to recognize the letters as they manipulate it. So right now, obviously we don't know what letter it is and they'd have to put it back in order to figure it out. So you can have a really fun guessing game. Find out that this is the letter C. You can play with this by just having some free play or you can play with it by saying, can you find a certain letter and having them look for that certain letter. Maybe they have the alphabot already set as an alphabot and then they have to put it together to be the letter and then tell you what letter they've put back together and as I said as they do these little alpha bots they're gonna really know which letter is which when they manipulate it oh I think I might like this one the best now and then of course when you've configured your alpha bots you can do imaginative play you can do letter sequencing as you can with all of the games that I'm going to show you today and this is actually really great for your fine motors as well because you really have to figure out how to turn them his little arms come out that way I know a lot of you out there are already Already a Lakeshore learning fans so you might already have this set and if you do tell me how much your kids love them maybe you have the numbers one. Oh, he's they're all cute you guys I keep saying that but it's it's true that they're all they're all cute and really fun to explore too I love that every one of them is just a little bit different and then you're gonna have a huge selection to play with and it's really gonna reiterate those alphabetic letters for when you're learning your alphabet and then you can get a little bit harder and have them put them in order for when they know their alphabetical order. Great hands-on activity for really reinforcing the alphabet. Since the weather's getting a little bit warmer, you might wanna spend some time outdoors at a water table or create a water sensory bin indoors. If so, you might wanna try including the float and find alphabet bubbles. Float and find alphabet bubbles. These are for ages two and up. 26 
bubbles in here and they're double sided. So on each side there are your alphabet, so your lowercase and your uppercase. And then on the other side, you have the corresponding picture for the beginning phonetic sound. This one is Q for queen. You also have them in a different variety of colors. So again, you have that color sorting element in there. And then what would you know? They're floating bubbles. <laughs> so they actually float. You can actually take your alphabet learning outdoors into a water table or maybe even indoors in a sensory bin. I like to use a big plastic tub that's clear for our water play outside and that's perfect for these. And what's cool about these is that when you place them in the water, one side is submerged and the other one is floating on top. You can turn them all around so the letters are facing up. You can turn them all the way around so that the pictures are facing up. This makes a great scavenger hunt for certain ones. You can go fishing for some of the bubbles. You can have your kids try and find a particular letter or a particular picture that matches a letter sound. If you're just starting out, you can start off with a few of these mixed in with a couple of other water play toys, or as you advance, you can add in your whole entire alphabet. As you're scooping up the bubbles, maybe you're trying to scoop them up in the correct alphabet order. Or if you want a simpler activity, just scoop up only the blue ones or only the red ones. And if you want some of that fine motor practice in this one too, maybe try incorporating a net to catch the floating bubbles or maybe even a cup from your kitchen. The float and find alphabet bubbles are a great sensory activity because you can use them in the water or outside the water. You're doing a lot of letter recognition and phonetic sound recognition. Plus you're gonna be identifying lower and uppercase letters. I think this is one of the very first Lakeshore items that I ever reviewed on my channel. They are the Alphabet Learning Locks. These are amazing. If you haven't tried them or heard of them, you are going to love them. Every time I show the Alphabet Locks, everybody loves them, loves them, loves them. Ages three and up. And I wanna say not only do they have the alphabet locks, they also have these in different versions. So check the website to see what they have. But we have 26 locks in here plus the 26 keys. Here is our full set of locks. So as you can see, you get the entire alphabet, one on each lock. The alphabet on the locks are on all capital letters. And then on the other side, you have pictures. And these pictures match the phonetic sound of of the letter that's on each one. So R is or R rabbit. So you have two different ways to play with these because there's two different things on each side. Now each one of these are locked. So you have your top piece here that comes open when you insert a key here at the bottom. And then of course we have all of our keys, one for each lock. And then these keys will only go in their corresponding match. If you notice on the keys, the keys are actually in lowercase. So now you have a third lesson to learn here and that's uppercase with the lowercase letter match, which is another skill that children need to learn when they're learning their alphabet. And then you have enough keys to open all of the locks. Now, when my girls were real little, we played with this in a couple of different ways. So I wanna show you a couple different different variations. So I'm just gonna push these locks off to the side here so I can show you a little bit better. And our keys off to the side. Now, if you notice the locks are in different colors. So now you also have a fourth lesson that you can teach, which is color sorting. So you can get all of the orange ones together and then all of the blue ones together and have a nice color match. Now I noticed my girls did this just on their own because they liked to do sorting activities. So that's definitely one option you can do with these. Then you can also match your uppercase to your lowercase, which is a really simple activity to do. And you just put it in the lock to see if you got your answer correct. There we go and it opens, so I know I got the answer correct. If you try to put in a lock that's not the correct answer, it just simply won't go in and won't work. When my kids were really little, we started off with one letter. So let's say, for example, you are working on the letter M for the week, because usually you do these <laughs> very simply with one or two at a time. What we would do is I would place a couple of different keys as options for that one letter, and we worked on that first. So with this case, I have three keys over here, and I say, which one of these matches? 
choices and they can try all of them because that's probably what they're going to do at first which is totally fine or maybe they do know it and they can go right to it then as we got a little bit more acquainted with our letters you can add more in so maybe i presented three locks with those three keys and they had to figure out which one eventually we got to the point where they could do the whole entire set in one sitting and that's the goal right then we do the same thing with the phonetic sound on the other side of the lock so we have a m m monkey which one of these is for the m m monkey and you can run through these if they don't know their phonetic sounds yet m g t and they'd have to pick which one goes in there once you got a little bit more skilled you can advance by adding in more locks you could also run this the opposite way by taking away all the keys and just doing one key and multiple locks which one of these matches the lock and they can try all the different locks when they're learning and then the same thing with the phonetic sounds alphabet sequencing which is your alphabetical order is another activity or game you can play once they've gotten their letters down and they know their letter recognition you can have them put them in order from the start to finish or you can take a couple of letters from the middle of the alphabet take one out and ask them which one is the missing letter starting off easy with just a couple options and then you can work your way up into the whole alphabet so they know which one goes in there and then you can get even harder by adding in the corresponding keys that go with it too so they can also match up the keys on these activities you just really take into account what your child's level is and then go ahead and adapt the activity to that level making sure it's not too hard for them but still challenging enough lakeshore learning also provides a really great parent guide in a lot of their items and this one has a great suggestion too for a game in which you take one away and ask them to tell you which one is the missing one i think that's also a fun game to do this activity has a lot of variety to it from letter recognition alphabetical order lowercase to uppercase even color sorting and beginning letter sounds and now for the giveaway details make sure you are subscribed to the purple alphabet youtube channel then leave me a comment down below telling me which one of these lakeshore abc alphabet items were your absolute favorite. It might be hard to pick just one. You might have to put two or maybe all three. Lakeshore Learning is sponsoring this video and the giveaway and we are giving away a $50 gift card. That's right, $50 so you can go and pick out whatever it is you want, which is amazing. Head on over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a U.S. postal address. And of course we have hidden clues hidden around social media like I always do. And there might even be one hidden in this video. Wink, wink. You guys make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.